Hey, and thanks for stopping by. Welcome to my May stock photography earnings video. Um, in this video, I'm going to go over my income from stock photography, uh, as well as some video sales. Although, spoiler alert, no video sales in this episode. Um, as well as share my thoughts on my stock photography journey. So if you're new, I am Joel. I'm a filmmaker and photographer. Um, I've been doing stock photography um, since 2020, and it's mostly as a way to try to create a mostly passive income stream. Um, so if you're digging this kind of content, then please show it with a like or even subscribe to follow along. I really appreciate it. So first up, if you have not seen my latest video on 2020, uh, then please be sure to watch it. Basically, 2020 is shutting down. So I no longer recommend 2020. And despite the fact that I just did a video about 2020 just a few months ago, uh, which many of you may have seen. Um, uh, yeah, so unfortunately, please go check out one of these corners, I can't remember. Go check out that video, please, to watch that. Although in this video you're, and the next couple of videos, you're definitely going to still see some earnings uh, being reported from that agency. So if you're wondering why I'm in a new location, it's because I'm literally around the world from where I was in the last video that you saw, my last earnings report. Um, we finally started traveling again, that is my, my wife and I, uh, for our other channel, which is Wandering Hearts. Um, you can check that out as well if you want. But we are actually in Banksco, Bulgaria, and I'm actually working in a co-working space. So it's like a Skype room. So it's kind of echoey though, so I'm not sure. Uh, the audio might not be the best, but bear with me. And we will get through this video. In me, I was only able to upload about 30 adventures or so um, to most stock sites. I did also upload a handful of videos too, which has been kind of more my priority lately. Um, but I was still dealing with a lot of physical therapy and doctor's appointments. Um, and then my wife had also gone under and had, had some surgery, so I thought to take care of her. Um, but besides all of that, uh, or because of all of that, or even with all of that, I don't know what the word is, but uh, May was a pretty big disappointment for me. Nonetheless, there are some interesting things in there, um, and we'll go ahead and start sharing those. Okay, so let's talk about the stock earnings. That's what we're here for. Um, starting with my best performing stock agencies first, uh, I am actually came in first for me. Uh, which is kind of rare, but anyways, I have uh, 900 images in my portfolio on IM. Um, I added about eight last month or in, in May, um, but I had a total of six downloads and that top brought me in $4.84 total. So nothing huge, but I mean, that's the best I did this month. Um, so, you know, whatever. Um, the revenue per download was actually 81 cents, so that's not too bad. Um, now I've also been trying to remove a lot of my images out of IAM's partner program, which um, it uses to, just because it's basically they send it out to like Getty and iStock and Adobe, and then they take a cut on that and then I get, so it's like an extra step, an extra person in there taking cuts. So I've been trying to remove my images from there so that I can directly upload them to uh, IAM and iStock and all that myself, but it's been kind of a pain to do that. Uh, so just a heads up, if you do decide to go with IAM, um, and if you select their partner agency or the partner pro uh, aspect on it, right, when you sign up, you can select to contribute your images to the, their partner program. If you do that, um, it's going to be really hard to get those images removed. You have to directly email them. Um, and then when they do, again, if you upload anything new, um, that's just to their marketplace, their separate marketplace. Um, sometimes you'll get like a little pop-up box that shows, you know, on the tab there, it says confirm market details. If you do that, if you click those, if you actually confirm those market details, then it will automatically put them back into the partner program. So it makes them, or I should say, it makes them eligible again for that partner program. So just be aware of that. Although I honestly have not, I've never sold an image on IM. It's always been through their partner program. So I don't know if anybody else out there has had that same experience. If you guys are on IAM or if any of you are, let me know in the comments below uh, if you've even sold an image on their marketplace or if it's always been through their partner programs. It could help all of us here figure out whether it's even worth contributing there because I'm not sure if I even want to keep contributing there. Um, it just seems like a kind of a waste of time at this point. 
Although I do have to say I like I am as far as I think it's a great way to look at other images. A lot of really great images on there, a lot of great photographers. So it's a really wonderful platform for that um, and sharing and following and things like that. But as far as sales, yeah, I'm up in the air. Anyways, let's go into some of those sales on I am starting with this one right here. You may have seen this one already. This is actually, I've sold this many times. It's horses running at sunset and it sold for $3.69 on, or rather through Getty Image. Actually, it sold two times. <laughs> so, but the second one was not as much. And then this next one here is of a Southwest Texas landscape. It also sold twice, once for 25 cents and once again for 24 cents. And then Bonnie, I'll leave you this one here. This is a Lake Tahoe in California. And it's actually Fennet Island out there. Um, and this one sold for 51 cents, All right? So next up, we're gonna talk about Wirestock. It was my second best stock agency in May. Um, and if you've been following along with these videos, you know I've got quite a few videos about Wirestock. Um, I've been doing kind of a big experiment with them um, for the last year, actually. Although technically more like the last like eight months because I spent a couple months where I didn't do any, I really didn't upload anything. But you can check those out somewhere up here. Um, I did only manage to upload a handful of images to Wirestock and I did get 12 vid new videos up, so that's good. So hopefully that will pay off here pretty soon. So my portfolio on Wirestock is 449 images and 61 videos. Total downloads were four and I brought, had a total earnings of $3 and 76 cents. So that's a revenue per download of 94 cents. So let's go ahead and go into my dashboard real quick so we can uh, check it out. So you can see in here, I had sold this red cattle guard twice on Shutterstock in May. And I also sold that same image in April as well for the same amount. So that's pretty cool. Um, also, I sold two more through Adobe Stock, but this time only for 31 cents. Now, finally, part of my total sales with Wirestock were, was 77 cents in referral income. Um, I mean, it's not a lot, but um, if you are interested in trying out Wirestock, I definitely suggest watch those videos first because there's some little there's some little things about Wirestock that you might want to do or you might not want to do. Like I have some recommendations; you can throw in the videos. Um, and then if you want to sign up, then I just ask that you use my referral link. I appreciate it. So let's go ahead and get into my third best agency, which was the agency that shall not be named. Some people say it, its initials are SS, but uh, I uh, I don't know. There's people gotten apparently got in trouble for it, so I always ref don't I refrain from it. Nonetheless, my portfolio there is 661 images and 68 videos. I did get 10 new videos uploaded there. So again, hopefully that will pay off as well. Um, I had 14 total downloads and brought in $2.07. And that's actually pretty, pretty low for me there. That's like one of the lowest months I've had on that stock agency for a really long time. Now my revenue per download was about 15 cents and that, that tells you why. Um, I did only manage to have a few images cleared um, because I had this big issue where I tried uploading a lot more pictures, but there was an issue with my model release and it took me like a week to get it sorted out. It ended up being that I had just simply uploaded the, I didn't realize that in the, the back end on Shutterstock, you have to, you can only have one model release per person at a time. And so I kept trying to re-upload it and it was just the same model release. So I kept flagging it. So nonetheless, I've had to, now I have to, when I upload them, I have to basically go in and remove all my model releases and then just upload a batch of, with the same person, people, and then let those clear and then do it again. So it's a little bit of a pain, um, but anyway, that's what that was. Um, again, that's why I had like four images uploaded. But I'm also splitting my uploads between this agency and Wirestock as well. Um, again, part of that experiment um, to try to see if I can take advantage of Wirestock's higher um, contributor level, which is basically a little bit higher commissions. So I only had a few sales that were over 20 cents, and like this one here, which is a really popular one of mine, of the St. Pete Pier in Florida, as well as this one here from Puerto Rico. This next one is a vertical shot of some vineyards in Lake Chelan, which is also kind of a rare sale for me because I don't usually get a lot of vertical shots sold. So, so I appreciate when that happens. Now, next up, you know, I have what I call the dis my dishonorable mentions. Um, I think 
you know, other people call them their small fish or their minnows or whatever. Um, but for me, they're my dishonorable mentions. Um, and I, where I did have some sales, but they're just, it wasn't enough to like, you know, really set aside and talk about them. So anyways, this next section is, I had sales from 2020, I stock Getty, Dreams Time, Deposit Photos, 123RF, uh, Canva, and Adobe Stock. So it, just kind of rare that I actually have sales on all of those platforms, but I had at least like one or two sales in each of them. Um, the total for that was $7.70. So here's just a few of the images that were sold amongst all of those stock agencies in May. This first one was sold on 2020, which we talked about is going away, but uh, Schnauzer Dog uh, was actually one of our neighbors. So dog when we were uh, in Florida. And then this next one here is a red lifeguard tower out of, um, or hut, whatever you want to call them, out of Puerto Rico. That sold on Adobe for 33 cents. I did have another first time sale on Dreams Time, like this editorial image here of tourists on Shipwreck Beach in Kauai, Hawaii. That sold for 35 cents. Uh, the next is Deposit Photos, where I had um, a couple new uploads that were on there, one of which sold, like this picture of the sailboat in Puerto Rico. Um, that got me, that earned me 25 cents. This picture of the Don Cesar Hotel in St. Pete Beach, Florida. Another editorial image sold for 30 cents, as well as this editorial image of the Dolly Museum in St. Pete, Florida, that sold on iStock, earned me a whole six cents. And finally, this next image um, earned me nine cents on iStock. So finally, I didn't have any other sales on any of the other platforms that I contribute to, including Pond5, Alame, Fine Art America, which is always a bit disappointing. But that comes to the part where I ask you, how are your sales in May? Um, let me know in the comments. Also, let me know if there's anything else that you're interested in, or if there's any of these things that I need to do a deep dive in. I'm happy to look into that. That does bring us to my total earnings for May of 2022. But before I would go into those earnings, I would help me do a favor and give this video a like and so that other people can find this type of content and it can be helpful for their stock photography journey. Um, and of course, if any of my videos have helped uh, in any way for you, um, you can show your appreciation by using any of my links or even buying me a beer. I appreciate it. There's also all those links are in the description below. Thanks in advance. All right, so now for my total earnings from May of 2022, um, I earned $18.37 from 52 downloads. Um, that's an RDP of 35 cents across all my stock agencies, uh, where my average portfolio is 587 images and an average portfolio of 91 videos. Obviously it was a really, really low sales month for me, especially what I've been used to lately. Um, but year over year, it was actually a $13 and 46 cent increase. So that's not too bad. I'll take that. Be sure to check out my other channel, Wandering Hearts, um, to see more travel videos. Uh, also, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope this inspires you with your own stock photography journey. And of course, if you always find any of this free content helpful, please use my links in the description. So you know the rest, like, subscribe, and follow along. Cheers.